Hi, welcome to Far Cry 4. We're doing Deplur's Fortress Varshakot. Finally got around to doing it. Just after, or just, yeah, no, just after completing the keys to the north. Here it is, I'm approaching from the air over the lake. I'm just going to drop in. I kind of figured there'd be an entrance via the water. There usually is. Um, well, not usually an entrance via the water, but there's usually some sort of back route into these fortresses. <laughs> I say usually. There was with Norse. So I kind of presume there would be two here. Uh, I just dived out of the boat. You're coming from the east, but basically just get in the water and you'll approach from the right side. Uh, the correct side, I should say. And then swim towards it. That was just the uh, the buzzer crashing into the water. Uh, then get down under the water a little bit and you'll see this approach here just to the left as you approach from the water. How many times can I say approach from the water, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, head up here and through this way, and then when you can't go any further, drop down and take a right there. There we go. And follow the H, if you've got it. <laughs> that doesn't really help you, does it? Uh, but just swim there, and eventually when you get up, have a look around, you'll see a ladder which you can climb up, and that will put you slap bang in the middle of the fortress. But watch out! There is a man on patrol. We'll see here, I just peeped over the edge and that's him coming around the edge there. <laughs> so I dropped back down hoping that he wouldn't walk uh, over here and look in, because that would suck. Right? But no, it's good, he's off. What I should have done is just followed him up there, but I didn't really know who he'd be visible to. So I took the prudent route. Uh, weapons I'm using, I've switched out the shredder for the custom, the signature scorpion, I forget the name. I think it's the Scorpion, but it's a different SMG. It's rubbish compared to the Shredder. Uh, it's not good except really at point blank, and there's better weapons at point blank than this. Uh, it's really tough to get a headshot. Anyway, a takedown there. That guy's got his eye to the window. And then there's a lot of faffing in this mission. I take it very, very slowly. I think I get no alarms. I may get undetected. I'm not sure I forget. Uh, but we'll see at the end. I definitely get no alarms because I shoot them both. And I've come here when it's weakened. Uh, I tried out Postmaster a couple of times, but didn't have much luck. I may go back and have a look at those later. Um, I also tried Yuma's Fortress uh, when I took that over, and that was really hard, 1,200 points. I even tried the ballsy route, where you just call the... Um, what should we call it? Uh, let them call reinforcements and try and take all them down, but they come by air, and I didn't have a decent weapon to explode them. Anyway, I digress. Anyway, back to the mission at hand. I'd taken out the first alarm from that first room, and the second one is just outside, so I wanted to get that too. And there we go, that's both alarms disabled, so if nothing else I'll get the no alarms bonus, which is always good news. And then I had a look around to the side to see if there was anyone I could easily take down from here, but it didn't really seem like a good opportunity. So I headed back up into the original room after all that. There's a sniper out that way that I figured was pretty isolated and sort of begging for a headshot. So, boop, he's down. That leaves us with, what, six or seven guys. Uh, the alarms are down. And a dog. Um, and I chucked that rock there because I was thinking, well, what can I do here? Um, and it wasn't really the best thought. I was just trying to get him lined up for a headshot, but then I didn't go for it because I was worried that someone would see him and maybe I wouldn't get a headshot with it. But as it is, the Z93 headshot's heavy in one go. So it's a good one to have. But then this dog turns up, so actually I'm pretty glad I didn't take him down. And I figure I'll go for a headshot on the dog, like this. Uh, and it shoots through the railings, I guess, the wooden thing, and the other guy didn't get alerted. The Z93 is amazing, because as long as you're a fair distance away, you can kill people literally with their back turned, and they won't notice them. Uh, it's as good as the shredder. Then the worst bit of bait throwing I think I've ever done. But it gets a leopard in, and most of the rest of this map ends up being taken down by... Ah, uh, the leopard. I kind of help a little bit, that guy. There. And a sniper coming up in a little bit, but... Uh, there's the leopard. He's come up to get the bait, you see. Uh, then I nearly get seen there. It doesn't flash, but... Uh, I'm trying to work out where this guy is, and I can't see the outline of uh, the sniper up there. And I just notice him. I couldn't see the thing above his head from where I was. Anyway, only, f what, four guys left now? Three? <laughs> Thanks, Leopard. And it's just a question of baiting all the way. I was trying to jump here before realizing there was something over my head, which was not desperately helpful. Another bait down uh, to distract these guys. 
and send the leopards in. And I think he basically gets them both. I'm running around here. I should have just gone for a takedown. It would have been pretty simple. But he takes him down, and while I'm running around to line up another shot on the other guy, again, pretty needless, but I'm worried he'll see me while he's looking at the leopard, and I'll lose my detected bonus. And while I'm running around the back here, what happens but Mr. the Leopard eats Mr. the Guard's face. So that was nice. But yeah, that gun, rubbish. I'll do my signature weapons video. Um, I think I've got one more outpost to unlock to get the last one. But yeah, this one does not feature highly. Anyway, that's Varka Shot. I might go back and have a go at Outpost Master, I'm not sure yet. Uh, there's not actually a lot of point. Um, then there was some looting, obviously, but let's have a quick look at the map. Uh, we've got a Outpost Master, obviously, Kairati Films, Racing, Hostage Rescue, and Hunting Survival. Oh, excuse me, as well as a propaganda poster or two. And that's about that, and a fast travel point and a waypoint. Um, not too bad, kind of fun. Um, yeah, I think waiting for the story mission to weaken them is definitely the way forward. And as you saw, you can still be quite ballsy and get undetected. Um, so yeah, kind of fun. Glad I did it. Got me a fast travel point. I'll go back and do Herx missions from there. <laughs> anyway, on the left is a key to the north. It is uh, the beginning, well, sort of, I think, number three of... Uh, number two or three of Act Three, and on the right is the DLC mission Blood Ruby, which is kind of fun. Although I futzed it up at the end by not jumping on a snowmobile. But that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Bye.